Hello again. The um, Quick Start Challenge 2.0 Turbo is, is over. And uh, even though it's over, my journey is continuing on. And my first challenge is to start documenting what I learned on the challenge. And the first thing I want to put together for you is uh, going and getting a domain name. The first thing you have to do when you want to create your own blog, the way I did it. Anyway, have a look at this and see what you think. I enjoyed doing it for you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, going and getting your domain name. I'm going to suggest you have a look at the largest registrar of uh, domain names, and that is GoDaddy. And if you come down here and you click on GoDaddy.com, it'll take you through to this page. Um, because this is probably your first time, or I probably wouldn't be listening to this, um, you need to go to Registrar, Register. You need to sign in, create a new account first, so you're going to click on that. Um, I'm probably not going to fill out this because um, I've already got an account, but if you put an email in here, a username, just use your first name and the first letter of your surname, create yourself a password here and a four number pin up in there and then you come down here and I don't know if you can see that but um, under there is create once you've filled out these fields that button will light up and you hit create account and voila you are in it'll send you a confirmation email and that'll have a password it'll have a um, user ID and a password in it and you will then be able to sign in so in this case, you'll be able to put your user ID there and your password there and hit sign in. What I'm going to do is I'll pause this for a sec and I'm going to put mine in and um, I'll hit sign and it'll take us through to the other side. So let's have a look. One second. Okay, I've hit the sign in button and it's taken me into this area here. Um, it'll display with your uh, name here and um, your customer number, etc., etc. You, what you're after at the moment is you're after a domain name, and you can either hit on that or that. Um, you come down here and domain search. You'll find a domain. I'll hit on domain search. Uh, it'll come to this page here. There are all these things here, but we're going to type in this box here. Um, and if I just use as an example Shane Hutton. That's the name I want. I hit this search and it'll come up. And I already know this, that name's taken, so it'll actually come up unavailable. It'll be like this. Sorry, shanehutton.com is not available. So, okay, back to the drawing board. Um, and you've really just got to go through and work out um, what's available and what's not, what you like and what you don't like. So, if we put in there shanehutton2014.com, and I hit search again, and it'll do whizzing through, and yes, good news, this domain is available, okay, I'm not going to do anything else, there are a few other things you can do down here, other options, you know, um, dot .co's, etc, but I'm just going to go to cart to show you what it's like, on domain selected, okay, uh, protect my per personal information, no thanks, and I think as a first time you're probably not going to need that. Building a website and hosting, well, in this case I'm not going to worry about those because I am, I've built my own and um, hosting I'm using someone else. Um, add emails, no, make sure there's no thanks here. Of course, I'm not saying you have to, but um, in, in this demo I'm not. Continue on by clicking continue to cart. And we have our order. Okay, normally when this uh, page comes up, it's set on five years. Five years will, um, will increase the cost. And uh, honestly, you just need a year to see how things are going. You can have that auto renewal every year. And it's a bit lighter on the pocket. Okay, down here, you've got all these other... Um, Available domains, .net, .co, .info, etc. 
uh, and but I'd say when you first start off you're probably only going to need one so you can just proceed to cart by clicking on that well, you'll notice it's in NZ dollars as well um, you can actually set it back up in the main menu to your own country's um, currency okay uh, because uh, all of um, what you would have had to have done previously, I suspect, is fill out all your um, financial details like Visa, etc. And um, if you haven't, you're going to be asked for it when you get down to here. So in my case, I've already got my Visa set in there. Uh, but if you didn't, um, you could actually put your credit card details in here. Uh, or uh, if you set up with PayPal, you can use this. And you just got to put it, it's a secret nickname they call it. You put it in there. Starts it off. I've got that set up. But um, generally, I just use these that there, which is my my credit card details, which is on file. But you're probably going to do this one. Once you've filled in those details, uh, you hit place order or place order, and that's it. It comes up with a few other things. Uh, once you've done that but um, it's pretty self-explanatory from there. You're the owner of a new .com, a new domain name, and it will send you a confirmation email to, to give you those stats. If I quickly... I should have actually put these in... Open these on other pages, but I so I'll just quickly scroll back. Look, there, are, there are a number of things up here and a number of things down here that you might be interested in and if you are just send us a comment and I'll I'll do a quick um, quick demo on those as well I'll leave that's all for today probably enough alrighty catch you later see ya hope it helps